Yeah, if I had to guess, these guys are dead. What do you think, Virginia? Because they're not moving at all. And they seem to have sticks going through their bodies. So yeah, that's probably a good assessment. Oh, this one's got a slingshot on him. I think we're a little past a slingshot now, but hey, I'll take it. You never know when we can use it. Hey, some rope though, and some more rags. This is good stuff to start out with. So Virginia has come along with me today. We are gonna be going inside of this cave. Our third, oh my God. <laughs> oh, these F wording bats. I swear to Christ, they're the worst thing in this game. Yeah, we're gonna be going inside this cave. Our third story cave. In our last cave, we found this email that shows the site of where we can find a shovel. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly where I'm at according to my GPS. So we should find the shovel inside of here. So in we go. Shovel time. Of course, that also means it's mutant time. I have three pieces of armor on me. I did make some more soup before we got here. So hopefully that'll help me out. Um, there's a big pit here. There's also a zip line attached right here. Can I grab this? Yeah, you can grab those. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Wee! Oh, I don't like this. Don't you drop me right here. Oh, there's probably mutants everywhere. Okay. There's not mutants anywhere. Good. I sure hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having a blast with it so far. Drop a like, leave a comment if you are. Thanks, guys. Lots of medicine and some food stuff. We even have a computer to break open. Get that electronic out and my man's holding a vodka bottle for me. So you know what that means, Molotov cocktails. I went ahead and made another piece of armor because like I said, we only had three, but we found that rope. So now I've got a fourth piece of armor on me. And in my inventory, I have like seven or eight mutant skins. So we can put those on at any point if I run out of the bone armor. I'm not too worried about it yet. Also, you may have noticed that it is now summertime again, or I guess springtime outside. Man, I tell you what, the uh, seasons change here really quickly. I think it was five days of like, I guess fall, and then it turned winter for about five or six or seven days. Now we're on day 14, and it is officially springtime again. Whatever, I'm not gonna question it. There's mutants and there's cannibals running around. So little bit of wacky weather had never hurt anybody. I'm thinking we need the rebreather to go any further. So under the water we go. And hopefully I can find a place for us to go once we get down here. Yeah, it looks like down. Do we just keep going down here? Oh yeah, look at this, okay. Well, we're probably on the right track. Let's just keep moving this way. May have a way to get up right here, let's see. Oh. God, there's mutants waiting for me, just waiting for me. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. That's right, that's right. Hope you guys weren't the welcoming committee. I'm, I, I'd like to apologize if you were, but I'm not taking the chance. I have a bad feeling about you two. All right, you know the drill. Let's just keep moving forward. Hopefully there's no more bats. That's, bats are the worst thing in this game. We've got another mutant who definitely sees me. I can take him. It's just one of him and one of me. So that's pretty good odds, I think. Yeah! Uh-huh. That's what you get, friend. Is he still alive? Oh, no, there's another one. I thought I heard one. Okay. Okay. He's a bit of a toucher, too. You stop touching me. Okay. Good, good, good. I saw something back here. We have got ourselves another air canister. Looks like some ammo of some type. That's nine millimeter, but this, flippers. We'll put the, it's a whole wetsuit. We'll put that inside of our, our bag for now. But next time we go in the water, we should change outfits to the wetsuit. I think you could swim faster with it on. Maybe it even insulates you as well so you don't get cold in the water. But you didn't think I'd see you there? Wait, there's another, oh, there's two of them, okay. Well, I've got something for you. Don't I? Gotta light it first though. Gotta light it first. Just give me a second. Time out. Time out. Time in. Oh God, the game. Oh good, I'm on fire. Okay. All right, I got in the water. I'm not on fire anymore, but you're on fire. The game had a giant stutter when I threw that Molotov. Sorry about that. But what happened was, is it blew up. There's three of them right here. It blew up right next to me and caught me on fire. So I've lost two pieces of armor because of that. Where'd you go? There you are. Where'd the third one go? Oh, God, he's behind me. Okay, we're down to one piece of armor now. 
Hold still. There we go. And then now, I can just do that. Easy peasy. All right, I should have some bones and some more rope on me. I'm gonna make a couple more pieces of armor. Actually, I can only make one more piece of armor because I forgot the tape is also an important part of the ingredient list and I am out of tape now, so. Ugh, two pieces of armor total. I think maybe I'll put on the mutant armor. This stuff right here, creepy armor, and I'm sure it smells great. We'll just put on a few pieces of that. I don't want to use it all, but that'll probably do. And yep, now I have mutant armor on. That's fun. I'm wearing your skin now. I am one of you. No more attacking me. Looks like we've got a little way to go this way. So this is the way that we're gonna go. How's the food looking? Oh God, I fell on a slide. Oh no. Okay. It's kind of fun actually. Woo. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Looks like I just fell down that little waterfall there into the water. There may be a way to go in the water, but I want to check the perimeter first. See what we've got. And then I'll hop back in the water once I've collected all of the goodies. Well, yeah, there's definitely a way to go that way. I want to keep checking around the lake here. Lake, I don't know what you would call this, the grotto. Let me check around the grotto. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Yeah, some more bones. And I'm just going to take a little quick dive in the water to make sure there's no place to go underneath here. And it's looking like there probably is not. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. So we know the way to go, and that is this way. And so, without hesitation, it is the way I shall go. I am not sure what that accent was, but hopefully you enjoyed it all the same. More goodies, oh boy, grenades. Well, I feel sorry for, oh my goodness, they gave us C4 bricks and grenades. I feel sorry for whatever's in this cave. Although I'm gonna try not to use them because they're gonna be way harder caves eventually and I'm gonna wish I had grenades left over. So I'm just gonna try to kill the mutants with my ax here. Slow and steady's gonna win this race. I got you. Right. That is right. Stop breathing. The time for breathing is over. Yeah. A lot of these guys in here. Oh God, he hit me. Yeah, I see at least two more running around in the background as well. Just keep swinging, keep swinging. Okay, run, run a little bit. Out of stamina, hold on, time out. I'm in! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. Oh my god. There we go. Alright. Yep, you're next. Just stop moving. Ah. Ah. Okay. Whew. Well, oh, there's still one more. You're a bloody mess. You must be pretty damaged already. I'll finish you off. I'll end your pain. And there's still another one. Holy crap. There must have been six or seven in here. Ow. Come on, you jerk. Got him. Wow. They took off a lot of my armor, actually. But we're good. I think the cave is clear. Or at least this section of the cave is clear. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff in the middle here to check out. Like this box with medicine and tape in it. Tape, ooh, more armor. And this dead guy with vodka and friend with vodka. Plus rags, but no tape. So of course that means I can only make one piece of armor from that one piece of tape we just found, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Here we go. Slap it on. Okay, I came in from there, I think, right? Probably, I probably came in from here. Hang on, I've got to figure out where I came in from just now. I'm a little confused. Okay, I figured out where I came in from. The dead body pile gives it away. All right, so from the center point of the room, I need to figure out where to go next. And it looks like there is nowhere to go over that way. Bones. And no way to go that way. So maybe this way with the giant light that's clearly pointing, hey, go this way. I will. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in this cave before we go. Yep, seems pretty empty. I don't see a shovel anywhere. That's what we're looking for in this cave is a shovel. Hopefully I'm in the right place. A lot of solophyte in this cave. I wish I had a pickaxe. Take some of that back with me when I get rescued and be rich. I hear something. Oh yeah, is that a finger? There might be two, that's, is he coming for me? I think there's a finger straight in front of me. There might be two fingers. I think I see one way in the distance as well. Let's see if we can get him. 
Oh yeah, we got him right in the leg. Oh no, what is that thing? There's something else. I've never seen that. What is that? Oh my God. No, what are those? Oh my God. It's like a break dancing mutant. Look at this thing. Oh God. Oh God, we have grenades. We're using the grenades. Oh God, oh my God. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Pulling the pin, throwing the nade, and hopefully that gets him. Uh, maybe it hurt him a little bit. Oh God, he's right next to me. I threw the grenade. Oh boy. Did we kill it? We didn't kill it. Oh no, this, this thing, this thing, these things. Oh God. Zero deaths. I am a warrior. I will fight anything and everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're running. I killed one of the fingers. God, tell me they can't fit through that little gap I just ran through. Let's hope not. Because I need to put on more mutant armor. I'm doing it. Armor, 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 armor. All of it. All that I have. There we go. Oh my god, that one piece of tape that I used to make some bone armor that is broken now, by the way, I could have used to make a sticky bomb. But I do... Oh, you know what I do have? I do have some... I have some vodka bottles. I can make Molotov cocktails. Two to be exact. So hopefully we can at least kill one of these things. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen these guys before. He's trying to get through that little gap. I don't think he can get through it. Oh, he got through it. He's up there now. Throw it! Yeah, burn! Burn! It's like a spider on the ceiling and we just caught it on fire. Oh my god, it's a spider mutant. Look at that! Nope. There's another one. Oh, I didn't light that one first. What a waste! Oh god! Gonna shoot you. Oh, that works. That works on him. Quick! Chop him up! Chop him up! Chop him up! Can't believe the stun gun actually worked. Pretty much back at the beginning of the cave, I've backtracked so far. Yeah, I got him again with the stun gun. Come on, finish him. Oh, we killed one! Yes! Freaking squid, mutant, octopus, spider. I just put his skin on. So I've got a little more armor now. There should be one more of them. And still one more fingers, although I did kill one of the fingers. Okay, here's one. He's got to be damaged. He's got to be pretty damaged. Let me reload this thing. All right. No, no. Stay. Okay, wow. I, did I get him with it? Oh, it's too late now. Crap. Yeah. I'm just going in. I'm going in for the kill. I have enough armor. I have enough armor. Should make it through this. I'm not gonna make it through this. I have severely misjudged his strength. I think we got him. Okay, wow. Almost all my armor's gone now. We'll get some more from him. Oh, you get two pieces of armor for killing one of these guys. That is a nice trade-off, because those dudes are tough. I think I'm still missing the location of one. Oh, there's one of my spears. One fingers. He might be back in that room where we first saw those two big guys. We've got to come up with a name for those guys. I think I like spiders. We'll just call them spiders. I hope I never see one again. Yeah, I have definitely lost track of one of the fingers. He's in this cave somewhere though. We have got a flashing red light in this room. Well, no wonder it was so heavily guarded in here. Looks like we're gonna find the location of another cave. New location discovered, Maintenance Bunker A. So that should show up on my GPS when we get out of this cave. Is this lore? I want it. It's not. What do you have? What is that? A flashlight attachment collected. What do you mean? What does that combine with? Uh, probably a handgun that I don't have yet because it won't let me attach it to like my stun gun. And I doubt very seriously it's, no, it won't let me attach it to my bow either. Yep, there's a handgun we've got to get. But don't worry. I think I remember where the handgun is. And so long as they didn't move it from its location during early access, I think we can get that relatively easily. Ammo there. And some batteries. Oh, yeah, we've got all kind of stuff in here. Look at this. Oh, another grenade. Good. Those came in handy. Oh, we got a dude way over here hoarding all the bones. And some more C4, which I'm full on. God, I wish I could make some freaking bombs. Why don't you guys put some tape somewhere so I can start making some damn bombs? Maybe there'll be tape in here? Nope. More flares. More ammo. 
Oh, some arrow types. What are these? Crossbow bolts. Don't have a crossbow. It looks like we're going this way now. I hope this is the way. We should try my new soup. I made cream of mushroom before I came out. So we're just going to drink this. It does give me a buff. Uh, hard to say what that buff is, but it looks like it's a squinting eye. So I would imagine that to be like a stealth buff. So maybe they won't see me or notice me as easily as they normally do. Let me take two sips of this. Also, I'll take an energy bar, get my energy raised back up a little bit, and a soda as well. I'm starting to realize most of the stuff you cook in the pot is good for buffs. It does help your food and your hunger a little bit, your stamina a little bit, but for the most part, it's for the buffs you're eating those things. So that's why you saw me also eat the uh, energy bar and drink the soda afterwards. Because it doesn't do a great job at filling up your hunger or thirst. It fills up your health a little bit too, the soups. Some of them will do more health than others. Just something you have to play around with in the recipe list. But I really like the addition of the cooking. I like having a use for everything that you collect in this game. Adding buffs is quite useful. Got money scattered all over the place. I think this is water ahead of me? Sure looks like it. Looks like we're going for a swim again. Oh, the wetsuit, let's put it on. So in my ginormous backpack here, we should find... Where are they? Aha! The wetsuit. And look, they do have stats, so it's got like a warmness, a comfortness maybe, and a dryness. Well, this thing will certainly keep you dry, so we'll put it on. We got a little flippers on. Here we go. Oh, God, you swim way faster with this on. We are zipping through here. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice find. Oh, no. Another welcoming committee. Where in my wetsuit? I don't have my combat gear on. Oh God, it's a fingers. I'm getting back in the water. Oh, they followed me. And I know for a fact you can't swim. You're gonna drown. That's how we deal with you guys. Nice and easy. Come here, fingers. Come on. Yep, just gotta get them to jump at you. And then they'll drown. Except with the fingers, we might not want to do that because we could use his armor. Okay, too late. He's drowning. I don't think I'll be able to collect his armor in the water. No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, is that an did another fingers just jump in? Yes, a second fingers just, oh my God. Get back over here. Okay, yeah, good. All right, let me get out of this wetsuit. My tactical jacket seems to be better than the wetsuit in all categories except for dryness, so. Yeah, this is definitely what we want to wear. Plus, I seem to walk a little slower on land with the wetsuit, which makes sense because I have flippers on. So even the outfits provide you with some stats and some pros and cons. So keep an eye on that when you're swapping outfits. Hopefully we can find some more. So my cook buff wore off. Man, that didn't last long at all. I think I'll take another sip because I do want to see if it'll actually make me a little more stealthy around these guys. I wasn't given a fair opportunity. We got out of the water and they were right flipping there. So I'm crouching right now. I don't, I don't see anybody. I actually don't see where to go either. Oh, now I see where to go. Those lights? I, think I saw like a light bar over here or something. Oh yeah, there's definitely a mutant up here. Let's see how close we can get before these babies notice us. Or flesh eagles, as I have named them in a previous episode. Oh yeah, they would all, they would certainly be attacking by now. So I think it works pretty good. I mean, that one saw me, but that's fair. I was really close when they finally did see me. And in fact, I don't think these see me yet. There's a lot of them here. I can quit playing around. It's time to kill them. Ow. Stupid babies. I hate you. God, ow. Got him. Ah. Stop it. Die. Is that everybody? No, I see you. Get over here. Got him. Now that's everybody, and I'm sure of it. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh yeah, there's a facility over here or something. Wow. Ah! Bats! Look at that. Can't get to it though, won't let you go down. Try a rope gun, but I don't think it's gonna work either. Yeah, it won't let me shoot over there, so. Cannot rope gun. 
So this seems to be the end of the cave right here. But alas, this man is holding what we came for. The shovel. And we got a couple of briefcases over here. That is a carbon fiber arrow. So by the way, if you have your arrows out like this, these are just stone arrows. If I look to the ground, it will give me an option to toggle through whatever I have. So now I've got it set to carbon fiber, back to stone. So yeah, that's how you deal with that. Got another case right here. Slug ammo collected. I wonder if there's a way out of this cave without having to backtrack all the way to the dang beginning. Are you kidding me? Looks like I might have to go to the beginning of the cave to get out of here, which doesn't make sense because we actually came down a slide at one point, like a little waterfall slide. We're not going to be able to get back up that. You know, I'm not sure that I ever saw this when we were coming through. I'm tr backtracking, trying to find my way back to the beginning of this cave. And I see this little hole here, and I don't think I... Oh yeah, we haven't been in here. We've got a mutant. So it seems like I have found another route in this cave here. <laughs> Which is cool because every cave we've been in so far, if I'm not mistaken anyways, has had an artifact piece. I don't, that's not to say that every cave has one in there, but I don't want to miss an artifact piece, so maybe there's one this way. Oh boy, there's a lot of baddies in here. We're going to have to be careful and swift. Deliver justice. One more, I think. We're, stop moving around so fast. Oh, there's two more. I don't have stamina for this. Yeah. Yeah, arm's getting heavy. Okay, I definitely didn't kill them all. I think I'm missing one. I did kill four just then. Ha! Let that be a lesson. Man, there's like a little wooden path here. Let's just follow this. If we see some crosses, then we definitely know we're going the right direction because that means there could be an artifact. Every time we have found an artifact, there's been crosses around it. But I don't see any crosses, nor artifacts. Rope. Good stuff. Oh, more boxes. Just hidden way over here. Any tape in these boxes? Of course not. Some wire's good though. I've been uh, extending my electric fence around the base. Try to make it back there today and show you guys before the end of the video. I knew I lost track of one of you. Found you. Okay. So I'm a little confused by this room that we're in right now. Like we came in through here. I should really stick to this path because I can't find anywhere else to go in this uh, cavern here. I mean, there was like six mutants and a few boxes of supplies, but I doubt that that's the purpose of this room is just some supply boxes and then a dead end. There's got to be a way to go, you would think. Now, so the boards I was just following are no longer, so I don't know. It's just kind of a guessing game now. I'm just going to kind of walk the whole border of the room and if I don't see another uh, cave hole opening, then I guess we just go back out the way we came and there was nothing in here but mutants and a few items to collect. Yeah, nothing else. So I guess ultimately I'm still looking for a way out of this cave. Whoa. Okay. Thank you, cave. The cave has given me a way out. I gotta get through this guy first though, but I don't have any of uh, those C4 bombs that we used last time. I do have a grenade, but I'm wondering if I can just chop them up. Do I want to get that close to him? Let's find out. Ah! Bats. Didn't scare me that time, though. No, I don't think I can chop him up. I, yeah, I think I have to blow him up. Okay, well, at least... Like, what do you do if you don't have any grenades or explosives in this situation? Guess we're using our grenade. That's all I've got. Out she comes. There she goes. That worked. It worked just fine. I tried stabbing it to death too. I couldn't tell if I was doing any damage to it. So I just went with a grenade, but maybe you could stab him to death with a spear. Probably take forever, but this has got to be the way out. Yeah, because there's no way we can go up that water slide, even with a rope gun. You're not getting all the way up that thing. It had twists and turns in it. So this must be the way out. Oh God, it's babies. Get out of here, you. All right. Got two with one axe hit, that's good, and then you're gonna get it next, and you did get it. So that's it. The babies have been exterminated. I hear something else. It's not over. Don't be one of the spider mutants, please. I think we're good. I don't hear anything anymore. I thought I heard something. Ah, more babies. Yeah. One just tried to karate kick my head off. I don't know where he went. Oh, there they are. Come here. Yeah. 
Where's your little brother at? Come here, you little... Ow! Ah. Okay. Now what? What is this? Why is this here? It's a hole? You just want me to go down in it? I think we can make that. It doesn't look like too far of a jump. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, we're good. Well, I wasn't expecting to go deeper. I was expecting to go out. So maybe there'll be a rope that takes me back to the surface here shortly? Unless this cave has more stuff it wants to- Oh look, we are out! We made it! And it's not nighttime yet. I don't know what time of day it is, but it's not night. So that's good news. See if we can get some uh, altitude here. And then I'm gonna use my hang glider. And we're gonna go try to complete one other mission today before we call it. And I think we might be high enough here to use this. Let's see how this works. We'll do a little jump, and yeah, we're good. Okay. I want to make my way out to the ocean, which would be in uh, this general direction. So this is the direction we're going to go. Oh, yeah, we should check out my map. There should be a new location on here somewhere. Maybe it's that flashing one with looks like an M. Don't think that's been there before. You know, that might be our new uh, location that we unlocked from finding... That red laptop in the cave we just left. But yeah, this is where I want to go. The beach. This direction. Actually, pull up just a little bit here because I don't want to land here. I kind of want to go around the corner a little bit. To where we found those sea turtles last time. If I can get a couple more shells, we can finish our launch pad at the base. I think I saw them right on this beach here last time. So hopefully they're back now that winter is over. And land it. Perfect. Give me that back. Let's see if our turtle friends are... Oh, they're back. Oh, no. There's three of them right here, which is exactly how many shells I can carry. And I think that's how many I actually need. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't feel good about this, turtles. But your meat is a blessing. And I will use every part of you. Except for all that. I won't be using any of that. I will barely use any part of you. Okay, I have three turtle shells now, which means we can complete our launcher at the base. Now we just got to get back to the base, and I think I'm going to try to find some more altitude. And we'll use the uh, hang glider again. That last cliff was a lot higher than this, but maybe this will work. Let's find out. Yeah, okay. All right. So we're just going to have to kind of nosedive and bring it up and try to work this altitude over. Oh, that's where I was just killing the turtles at. Virginia's down there. <laughs> She's being accosted by a bunch of cannibalistic natives. She'll be fine. I'm sure of it. I believe I see my base. Well, I don't see the base yet, but I think this is where we live at. Yeah, it's coming in now. Here we go. We made it home. Down we go. And yeah. Wonderful. Well, first things first, the electric fence, as you can see, has grown a little bit. I just add a couple sticks and a wire here and there as I find them. And uh, eventually we'll have this thing stretch out uh, along the perimeter. And hopefully that'll help with some of these night raids we're getting. Although I'm doing pretty good with the night raids with just some uh, pointy stick defenses. I also went ahead and added some uh, torches around the front here a little bit so we can see better at nighttime. Now... Didn't we just get ourselves a shovel? We sure did. <laughs> First thing I want to do is dig up these graves in front of my house because that's what you do. After all, yeah, we were hired to find the Puftons. And who knows? Maybe they're in one of these graves. I'm going to do my job. Oh, well, there's some cat food in these. Some canned food. It looks like some more canned food. Yeah. Oh, there is a body in here. But that's way too decomposed to be the Puftons. They haven't been missing for that long. Okay. I can stop digging this up now because it's definitely not the Puftons, but I'm not going to stop. Yeah, I feel pretty confident that's not one of the Puftons. So let's check this grave out. Yeah, Who put canned food in a grave? Break this one open. Let's see what we've got in here. Some more supplies. Okay. And another dead body. It's way too decomposed. On to the next one. The digging in this game looks amazing. Love it. Very cool. Uh, some more rags. Okay. All right. Well, we got some supplies. Now we have open graves in front of my house. Let that be a warning. 
Let's go inside and complete our launcher. I also added a bunch of torches inside of the walls so we can see at nighttime even better. And look, because the ground is not frozen anymore, there's no more snow, these guys are starting to grow again. So I can start making my own herbal mix. That was the yarrow and of course the aloe vera, which makes health mix. So whenever we run out of health pills, we can have this as well. Oh, the food's dry. There we go. Got a lot of food now. Oh, gonna have to put some on the shelf inside. Hold on. It's pretty gross. We're just gonna store our dried meat on a shelf. It's fine. And you might recall, we got ourselves this wonderful canteen that we 3D printed last episode. And now that these guys are thawed out, I can fill up the canteen. Or if I have a cooking pot on a fire with clean water, I can actually get water for the canteen out of the cooking pot. Oh, I think we have visitors. Oh, we had a visitor. Oh my God, there's a bunch of them out there. Unless that's, Kel yeah, Kelvin's just running. You did this to yourself, sir. No one told you to come here and act a fool, did they? And yet you came here and proceeded to act a fool. And now you're dying of blood loss and stab wounds. Stop screaming, please. That's unnecessary also. Oh, you tried to get up and you walked right back into the spikes again. Anyways, I'll leave you to it. Because I think we have a launcher to complete here. Let's put these shells in. And then it says we need to add four wires, which apparently I have on me. And that is complete. So I'm guessing if we hold this and walk on this, oh my God, we have got ourselves our own launcher. We can leave our base and immediately hang glide to any location that we want to now. And that is just incredible. Oh God, right into a, right into a cannibal. Is this what you want? Oh, you ducked, did you? Here, let's try to use, let's try to use our devices against him. Uh-oh, somebody got fried. That's what you get. Look at this. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm about to say, you don't just get to climb over it, dude. That guy's still alive over there? Amazing. Yeah, that's right. It's an electric fence. Welcome to the future, pal. And uh, you don't get to leave, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you don't get to go anywhere. Oh, dear Lord. There's another one coming for me. Let's see how the electric fence does against this guy. Come on. Over here, dare ya, double dog. You're going that way, are you smart? Don't be smart. Oh, you're looking at your loved one who's dead now. Oh, watch this, yeah. ow, why are you holding your stomach? Oh, yep, you're stupid, just like all of them. Come on. You're a thick one, she is so thick. She's dead now though. Okay, well, gotta clean up these bodies. I was hoping to get a skin pouch, but doesn't look like... Oh, one did drop one. Cool. Let's see what we've got. Ah, tape. Wonderful. Oh, one more. Whoa! What are you doing? Who taught you how to do that? Don't do that. Oh, I just shocked myself. Uh-huh. Get. Oh, my God. That was so cool. Eat some food. Apparently, I'm starving over here. Get some more of that dried meat in me. A little bit of canteen water. She ran off. Crazy ninja cannibal. That was new. Haven't seen that yet. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to show you. We got the uh, the zipline gun last episode. So I came over here and made a zipline down to the river, which is where I catch most of my fish at and get some water for cooking. So right down here we go. And it just attaches to a tree there. And then yeah, now I can do all my fishing right here with my spear and get fresh water, and if I want to go back, we can actually go right back up. Yeah, we're home. And I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got the shovel. We got some sort of flashlight attachment, and we have the location to a new bunker that we're gonna check out really soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time. Oh God. Oh, God. Oh, no.